were discarded. People who are worthless to society. Dehumanized because of the, the preconceptions that, that a lot of people have. Addiction and, and alcoholism in turn led me to prison. People often view guys who are in prison who've been locked up as some sort of less than human. But once everyone's here and you have those externals, you know, those external influences taken off of the individual, you're just left with a person. That, you know, has feelings and has emotions and imagination and creativity. repurposing themselves, they're repurposing their ideas, they're recycled human beings in a way that are giving a chance in which they can create something. As many things in this whole art car world, there are no um, precedents or real reference points. Um, one came as an email from someone at TCF, Trinidad Corrections Facility, exploring the possibility of having some of their inmates make an art car. What are you, crazy? You want to do what? In a secure prison environment? And it sounded appealing and impossible all at once. Articade's an art car festival, and people say, well, what's an art car? Well, just they're embellished vehicles of all kinds, cars, trucks, motorcycles, golf carts, bicycles. So Articade is just a big celebration of creativity by creating artfully kooky conveyances. The Articade uh, opportunity has done is be able to work on something that is so, in my mind, so removed from prison, you know, because creativity is, you know, you don't put it in a box. You can't think about art inside of a box, and here we are, we're kind of in this box. You know, it, it comes from a very genuine human place. <laughs> Human creativity is, and whatnot, really is what separates us from the animal realm. You know, I was substituting my creative outlets for alcohol and drugs, and so it was often a, a way for me to recover, to, to find recovery. It's given me that pause that I need to make the right choice. Because in my past, what I've done is make the wrong choice. There are no mistakes in art. There aren't. To me, this is freedom. I never would have thought I'd been able to do this in my life, and this is the greatest thing I've ever done. Doing an art car, um, well, I don't think there's any other facility in the nation doing that at all. Well, the idea came on the very first art arcade. Um, I actually was out on um, the parade route. I looked up and I just was like, you know what, the men here, they can do this. Sawdust, pine cones, pine cone needles, rocks. It was pretty unique. They're using another part of themselves in a way that they had no anticipation any more than when a soda can is made that eventually it's gonna end up being a piece of art use that, that kind of rudimentary energy that may stem from like a creative mind to do something interesting, to repurpose something. Imagine if that garbage came to life and had something to say. This experience has, has reinvested a heartfelt drive to continue to make art as a way to speak to the world 
explore a firm's personal meaning, purpose, and a belief in all beauty of life. So we search for an outlet, a way to express, showcase our talents, and get a taste of success. Van painted with beer caps, beauty, or mess, just know it comes from the organ that bumps in our chest. We were discarded into, into prison. But then to be able to find a, a purpose here, it's really like a, a portal to reality for me. This was a big black hunk of nothing. And it's like beautiful now. 